Just explain what we're talking about here, a robot that follows you around the house. Um, a tabletop robot, what did you find out about it? Is Apple about to join the growing humanoid robot market with its own advanced creations? According to Bloomberg Mark Gehrman, Apple is planning to release a device that combines an iPad screen with a robot arm in 2026 or 2027. Matt Costello, who worked on the HomePod, is leading hardware development. The robotic arm moves the screen and responds to voice commands using Siri. The development is expected to align closely with Apple intelligence. The company's AI systems is integrating with its hardware. The price would be around $1,000, according to the Bloomberg report. Apple is also developing robots that can move around the house and is even considering a humanoid robot. Robotics expert Wolfram Tappanair is leading the other robot projects with a team of about 100 engineers. Gehrman reported that Apple's industrial design team has been exploring robotics for years but struggled to get company buy-in. Executives are prioritizing the project now as Apple seeks new revenue Sources rumors about Apple entering robotics picked up steam earlier in 2024 after the company ended its electric car project called Project Titan. For almost a decade, Apple sought to create a self-driving car, but the project was plagued by changing leadership and struggles with emerging technology. Eventually, Apple's executives decided the competition and cost were too much to make it worthwhile. Apple's industrial design team has been exploring tabletop robotic concepts for years, but there wasn't consensus within the company, including the software engineering organization and marketing teams, over whether to move forward if Apple enters the consumer humanoid robot market. Here's what it'd be up against. It actually gets way crazier when you think about the Optimist robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to be able to do anything you want. It to do your companion. It can be at your house. It can sort of babysit your kids. It can teach them. Great teacher. It can do factory stuff. Elon Musk announced the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot during Tesla's 2021 AI Day, also known as Tesla Bot. Optimus is engineered to take on tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring for humans. Its development is watched closely as of July 2024. Tesla plans to manufacture the robot in limited quantities in 2025 for internal use and offer it to other companies. In 2026, Musk has set high standards for Optimus, predicting the project will eventually boost Tesla's market cap to $25 trillion. I think everyone in the world is going to want one. I think we could make one for a cost of maybe at really high scale of about $10,000. It's more be less expensive than a car. Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. So yeah, standing around five foot eight and weighing 125 pounds, Optimus features advanced AI and automation tech developed by Tesla for their electric vehicles. Tesla plans to incorporate its full self-driving computer into the Tesla bot, adapted for bipedal locomotion and task execution. In 2024, a small number of Optimus robots started working in Tesla's factory. A potentially disruptive humanoid robot, the Unitary G1 was unveiled during the 2024 International Conference on Robotics and Automation. Priced from $16,000, the G1 has generated buzz for its flexibility and sophisticated joint system integrating imitation and reinforcement learning. The robot is meant to work alongside humans or collaborate with fellow robots. The G1 is a downsized version of Unit Trees, full-sized humanoid robot, the H1, the H1 Unit Trees. First humanoid robot was unveiled in 2023, Elephant Robotics says, its new humanoid robots help researchers bring artificial intelligence into the physical world. The Mercury X1 is a wheeled humanoid robot equipped with dual NVIDIA Jetson controllers, LiDAR and ultrasonic sensing, and an eight-hour battery. The Mercury X1 is designed for mobile tasks and exploration. They also have a semi-humanoid robot, the Mercury B1, which is intended for advanced research. The robot features a 9-inch touchscreen, an NVIDIA Xavier chip and 3D camera. The robots are geared toward researchers and educators focused on embodied AI. That's when artificial intelligence is embedded into a machine, empowering it to move and interact with its physical surroundings autonomously. The X1 is the first. Whole humanoid robot for the Shenzhen China-based Elephant Robotics. 
The company's other robots include a series of cobots and robotic pets. Neuro Robotics says it's humanoid robot before anyone has cognitive abilities. The German company says the robot can see, hear, and even touch. Neuro released new footage of the 5'11 humanoid robot to coincide with its announcement that it joined NVIDIA's humanoid robot developer program aimed at accelerating robot deployment globally. The AI robot has sensors for multimodal interaction and three division for recognizing objects and environments. Its force torque sensors give it a sense of touch. The robot also has a touchless human detection sensor with interchangeable forearm. The 4Anyone is designed for an array of tasks in industrial and domestic settings. Besides the 4Anyone, Neuro's product lineup includes the Lara series Cobots and Maria, which the company calls the first commercially available cognitive robot. Just explain what we're talking about here, a robot that follows you around the house. Hey, Ed, yes, thank you so much for having me. You're, you're absolutely right. If you think about it, a self-driving car essentially is a robot, but the big difference between a self-driving car that roams around city streets and one that roams around uh, your, your house is the liability and it's the safety. If the self-driving car stops working properly on the road, maybe you get into a car accident and potentially kill someone, unfortunately. If your self-driving robot crashes into a wall in your home, it's kind of, so what? Right. And so it's similar technology, but the stakes are so much lower. Uh, the, the necessity to be accurate is so much lower. It is an easier thing to pull off. Could Apple's next big thing be a robot? Now the Apple car is in the rear view mirror. Bloomberg reports that a robot that follows you around the home could be in the works. Now there is, of course, a lot of overlap with AI here. Another area we know is going to be probably pretty big for Apple this year for the robot. Specifically, though, the report says the company's AI. Researchers are investigating how it could navigate cluttered spaces. A rumor can already do that pretty well. So what else could this be? Maybe it's more like the little Star Wars droids. Yeah, probably not, but it's fun to speculate. Another project that's also supposedly a little further along in development is a tabletop device that uses robotics to move a display. This might mimic head movements of the person you're FaceTiming with like nodding or maybe shaking your head. I'm already a little creeped out by my persona on Vision Pro, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. Home. Robots aren't new. We've seen tech companies big and small bring out lots of different versions with varying degrees of success and availability. The Amazon Astro, with its strangely expressive screen eyes, is kind of a jack of all trades. A home security robot, personal companion, and smart display all rolled up into one but you can't really get your hands on it. Even two years after we first reviewed it on Amazon, it's still listed as invite only and costs one $600. It's one of what Amazon calls its day one edition projects. Basically, they're big picture projects and initiatives. Then there's the Samsung Bally. We first saw this cute spherical robot pop up a number of times at trade shows like CES in 2020 and in January this year. It's taken what we think is going to be its final form, a bigger, rollable ball with a built-in projector and, of course, plenty of AI. But both these examples show that getting a home robot right is really, really difficult. There's been so many other companies along the way that have tried to be our new personal companions, like the Anki Cosmo robot, which I remember falling in love with back in 2016, Paul went out for the little guy. May he live on through open source. It still feels like we're waiting for our true Rosie from the Jetsons moment, which, funnily enough, is something Apple's also been thinking about too. According to Mark Gehrman's report, one of the original ideas was a fully autonomous robot that could move around the home with video conferencing capabilities, kind of like an iPad on wheels, or I guess similar to what the Astro does. But more intriguing for me is how the report also mentions a robot that does chores like washing dishes in a sink. Obviously, the engineering challenges to commercialize that sort of robot would be enormous, but I would pay top dollar for that same price as a Vision Pro, sure. Then there's the question of how AI fits into all of this. ChatGPT is being integrated into something like Figure, a general purpose humanoid robot. There's Tesla's Optimus also in the same vein, 
and NVIDIA's project Groot, which can understand human inputs like natural language and movement. Meta is also working on what it calls socially intelligent AI agents that could take a number of different forms. From AI glasses to a robot using a simulation platform called Habitat to train and collaborate with humans in a home environment. They're all trying to bring AI robots to life. So why does Apple need a robot? Well, we know hardware is traditionally Apple's bread and butter. The iPhone is still the single biggest revenue generator for the company. And there is a big emphasis on what on earth is going to come next to either take its place or boost the bottom line. Building a robot is hard, and we've got plenty of shuttered robotics companies and projects to show for it. Apple reportedly also knows this, because A, they know it's going to be expensive and that might limit the audience it appeals to, and B, engineering challenges like weight distribution on a small stand, adding in locomotion is no easy feat. What I really want to know is, what on earth would an Apple robot even look like? Is it something like Pepper, the robot with a face and a screen? Is it more humanoid style? Or is it more like an iPad on wheels? Maybe a HomePod on wheels with roller skates? Okay, that last one's totally off base, but it is fun to think about. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Apple robot. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.